Hello everyone, my name is Yeneha Agarwal from BISP Solutions and today I will discuss about the legal jurisdictions and legal authorities. So understanding what are legal jurisdictions. The jurisdiction is a physical territory such as a group of country, countries, state, county or parish where a particular piece of legislation applies. Judicial authority may be exercised within a jurisdiction. For example, there is French labor law, Singapore transaction tax laws, US income tax laws. They apply to the legal entities operating in different country jurisdiction. So what are the types of jurisdictions? Identifying jurisdiction, income tax jurisdiction, and transaction tax jurisdiction. What is an identifying jurisdiction? It is our first jurisdiction in which we must register to be allowed to do business in a country. If there are more than one jurisdiction that a legal entity must register to commence business, any one can be selected as the identifying jurisdiction. For each legal entity, we have to select an identifying jurisdiction. Through this, we can uniquely identify our legal entity. Income tax jurisdiction. By uh, income tax jurisdictions, by law impose taxes on our financial income generated by our entities within their, their jurisdiction. So uh, what is income tax jurisdiction does? It imposes tax or uh, it imposes tax on our financial income, which is earned by all the legal entities within that jurisdiction. This is created to properly report and remit income taxes to legal authorities. As you all know that income tax is a key source of funding that, go, uh, that government uses to fund its activities and serve the public. Then comes the transaction tax jurisdiction. It is used for legal reporting of sales and value added tax. Transaction tax jurisdiction is created separately in Oracle Fusion Tax applications because of its specific needs and complexities of various taxes. The tax jurisdictions and their respective tax rates are provided by suppliers and it requires periodically maintenance. To understand what is legal jurisdiction, we can take an example of the US uh, United States federal court system. So uh, jurisdiction in simple language is the authority which hears these certain cases. As you can see in the screen, US district courts hear the cases relating to the violation of federal law. Special courts are created to hear the special type of cases. US courts of appeals are for challenging the orders from federal agencies and the highest body is the US Supreme Court, which, uh, in which we can uh, appeal on cases of constitutional law. In this example, these federal courts have jurisdiction in cases that involve United States laws, uh, treaties with other countries, interpretation of the constitution, and bankruptcy and maritime, maritime laws. So this was about, uh, all about the legal jurisdiction. Then comes the legal authority. So what are the legal authorities? A legal authority is a government or legal body that is charged with the power to make laws, levy and collect fees and tax and remit financial appropriations for a given jurisdiction. Legal authorities are not mandatory to be created in Oracle Fusion applications, but, are, but they are recommended and are generally referenced on statutory reports. The, they are the predefined legal authorities in the application, but we can also create our own in addition. 
so to understand what is legal authority we can take an example that there is an internal revenue services which is responsible for collecting taxes and interpretation and enforcement of the internal revenue codes of the united states so here the internal revenue service is a legal authority tax authorities are the subsets of the legal authorities and can be defined using the same setup flow now we will uh, go to the uh, instance and see how we create the legal authorities and legal jurisdiction from the setting and action menu we will select the setup and maintenance in the instance and from the task list we we'll click on the manage implementation projects and from here we'll select our project which is fusion financial project and under that we'll search for the task manage legal jurisdiction from here we will select go to task if our jurisdiction is already created we can either write the name or the legislative category or the territory and search for it for each legislative category a legal jurisdiction is created in the system we we'll cl click on the add icon to create a new legal jurisdiction so we can give name as fusion tax fusion usa tax jurisdiction these information are filled as per our client requirement now territory we will select the territory in which this jurisdiction applies so in the given case we'll select united state so here we can select the united states as a country on who on which the jurisdiction applies we can select the legislative category from here and as i told you that for each legislative category a unique legal jurisdiction is created so i'll select the local tax from here i told you about the identifying jurisdiction so if this is the identifying jurisdiction then we can select yes else we can select as no so i will select yes over here legal entity registration code when we uh, register our entity under any tax we get a registration number as per the law of that state so for example i will select over here corporate identification number as a legal entity registration code legal reporting unit is the reporting unit to which this legal entity reports so for this i will select tax registration number for our legal entity this is the reporting entity so i will select tax registration number all these details are filled uh, as per the information provided to us by the client if you want to add the legal functions you can add a row and uh, you can select the legal function otherwise you can just click on save and close so i'll add one legal function from here so there are options like generate in intercompany invoice incoming tax control salary annual declaration and state and the incoming tax control so i will select state incoming tax control you can add 
more legal functions from this add row icon. Now we will click on save and close. So this way we have created the legal jurisdiction and over here only we can see the task as manage legal authorities. So we'll go, click on the go to task icon. Likewise, we can search the created uh, legal authority by uh, writing the name, country, or the organization number. When there are two asterisk, means at least one is required, at least one field is required. So now we are creating a new legal authority. So I will click on this add icon. You can give any name to the legal authority, like I am giving Fusion Legal Service Authority. These details are based on the information provided to us by the client. So say it is a collecting authority type or collecting and reporting or only reporting. These are the three authority type which authority can be. So I'll select collecting and reporting means this authority uh, is assigned to collect and to report. Now we can uh, create an address by this add icon. So I will select country as India. Say I'm creating legal authority for India. So I'm selecting India. If you are uh, creating for any other country, then you can select that country. And all the mandatory fields are required to be filled, the one mark with asterisk. So say I am saying Tilak Nagar Mar City, I am selecting as Delhi. And pin code also is a mandatory field. So fill pin code. However, state is not mandatory, but we we'll provide the state also. We can give the date from which uh, this address is valid. So we are taking today's date only. What is the purpose of creating this address? We can specify the purpose over here. So purpose can be legal purposes, human resource reporting, payroll reporting, purchasing, request for quotation or any other as mentioned in this list. Corresponding just for communication purpose, if we are cre uh, creating this authority, then we can select that. So I'll select legal. You can also add other purposes uh, by selecting add row. So I'll click OK and this way the address is created. Now we can add the legislative categories from the add icon plus icon. Legislative category can be the law um, for which uh, this authority is the collecting and reporting type. So I'll select any law. Say so we'll select the company law. And likewise, we can uh, add the rows and select the legislative category from here. After that, we'll click on the save and close. So this way, our legal authority can be created. Hope you have understood what does the legal jurisdiction and authority means and how they are created in the system. Thank you for watching.